Up, how many? Fifteen. Yes, I am Asha Pandey, and uh, I did master uh, in psychology, and then I did uh, teachers training, and after that I did uh, three years job in another school for the experience. And I born in the village near to Varanasi, but I grown up in Varanasi. Did you have horrible school experiences when you were a kid? <laughs> yes, yes, very horrible. In the government school, is really like hundred girls in one class, and uh, teachers just coming, giving lecture, and going, never copy check. Uh, so I had this experience. And after class ten, I went to central school. It's attached from BHU. This was interesting. This was nice. Uh, their teacher was caring. And after that, I went in college in BHU. That was also a nice experience. So what made you build this Little Stars School? And how did you find the name? I think it's such a cute name. Yeah, actually, yeah, the children are really stars. The kids are really stars. And uh, from the beginning, uh, from my childhood, I was, uh, I want to be a teacher. And uh, after class 10th, I start coaching the little kids in very early age. And I was, uh, motivated with my father because always I saw he had a small room with a tin shed where I started his school uh, and he was living in that room and always I saw he was helping to the children who was coming from village from poor family and uh, that's also I got motivation by him and then I decided to be a good teacher and uh, after my finished education, I joined other school. And during those time, I was teaching three, four girls who were mopping and cleaning, like three days in a week for one hour. And when I got uh, enough experience, and then suddenly just one day I start with the kids. So being a woman and doing what you did, was it difficult? Yeah, it is very difficult. It is very difficult and when I started the school and uh, all the neighbors they are watching me very strangely what she's doing and now she's uh, mad or she's so well educated lady and not leaving the husband and uh, teaching so dirty kids and even uh, in my neighbors two three ladies always calling to my teachers and saying don't don't tease because children are very dirty. Uh, so, yeah I, I faced a lot of problems in the beginning from society. Did you start in the village with Little Star School? No, I started in the Asi, uh, like 15 minutes walking distance from here. I started that area, but their neighbors watching very strangely to me. But uh, I did not care. Yes, uh, yeah. my focus was what uh, I am doing. So you started, you said 1996? 1996 I started, yes. No, it, in the beginning it was a uh, very hard time. First day when uh, I was teaching three girls at my home, so I uh, I had these three girls and next uh, I went my neighbors to call the other kids and parents were not ready to send the child. They were saying, no, my children are working and they cannot go. Then I request to parents, no, saying for one hour as a tuition, not for the school. So I started just for the one hour in the beginning. And after slowly, slowly, I extend the time, one and a half hour and two hours and three years like that. But in the beginning, I was going every day to call them. So today you have two huge buildings and you have like 750 or even more kids. How did all this happen? Yeah, this is uh, also a very uh, strange and good and positive happened, you can see, because uh, when I started school, I was thinking to make them just literate and leave the children. They can learn and write, that's enough. But uh, when I found out they have also talent, like the normal family children, and then I decided to make the group and classes for them. And uh, in my parents' home, one day, I was uh, 
this that then my mother bedroom and drawing room and roof every the children were full and there was a ashram kinaram baba kinaram ashram is here and one saint baba hari ji he reached there my parents home and he saw like every were children and then he he said oh this is house not a school we made the children everywhere to sit in the bedroom in the drawing room and to roof everywhere children so he started to pay us uh, money to for the rent so i rent the place close to the this school this building mm-hmm. and after that he he and his ashram uh, helped me to build here every year two rooms two rooms so like that school growing and uh, now we have a second building this also i think good luck <laughs> of the little star school suddenly we got a private donation and uh, i do you hear back from former students here that they found a good job or they were happy all the students from here yeah yeah i i meet some like my old children yeah some are married and some are working and some are in university still paying job and one one is very good uh, kathak dance teacher three four are teaching at the school and uh, mm-hmm. two girls were teaching here in the school two years before now, now they are married okay. yeah one girl come here help me on the computer in the morning so yeah they are uh, going what would you say uh, distinguishes little star school from the government school here what is the difference no difference is a big difference here we work very uh, honestly and uh, with our hard labor and we think if child is here because parents faith us faith on us and they send the child to learn something to them so for myself like i go also in the class and i teach and i teach the che- my teachers how to do and what to do how to make lesson plan everything mm-hmm. and we have uh, meeting every saturday and meet and what you did and government and uh, we are working very like uh, few money and the government school is different they are getting so much money but they don't want to work because they they are in the relax they think oh they will get money if they work uh, or they don't work mm-hmm. so many kids uh, i told you uh, from the government school they should come here to join the star school and i asked the parents no 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 we don't have space please leave the child there in the government school and they say no no there is uh, no education since 5 years child is there but don't know how to write and how to learn mm-hmm. so this is the difference because they don't care the children but uh, maybe they don't care children because they are getting nice salary from government or but now with the new building the maintenance is much more than here so you have to make even more efforts to find all the money do yes, you have a strategy for that or no actually i i am never i never get in worries that's my maybe nature or character you can say <laughs> this i leave everything on the god i think if we work is going on someone will come and uh, we should do the care. same <laughs> <laughs> yes yes i never i never take in worries sometimes yes peer i volunteer from holland he was what you now money finish how to building i said don't worry don't worry something mm-hmm. will happen slowly slowly but not are you so, in contact with other schools similar to your school so you exchange ideas or uh... yeah we meet sometimes angels uh, meeting we have and there people share the opinion and ideas and uh, yeah we sometimes uh, we go for the angels training and there many people meet together and different people working for different kind of field so they share their experience new ideas what when is the next meeting uh next meeting after i think two months in two months last was before three months in bhu uh-huh. so and where where is it 
Actually, we meet in BHC's in Varasa University. There is a big central hall. Mm. So we get email and then we go and join there. So what kind of kids are coming here? Are they, do they all come from the neighborhood? and All they come from neighborhood, from a two kilometers walking distance. And uh, big slum area is around here also in Nagoya and Samne Ghat and Bhogabe. And, uh, and we take only those children who cannot pay fee in other school. So only Below those children. The poverty line? Yeah, only, yeah. And they all are under poverty line. Yeah. Underprivileged children all are. Okay. You only take them? We only take them, yes. There are, I mean, we drove through. There are a couple of schools around here, right? But yeah. still not enough? or. Uh, are there schools. enough schools here in this region and simply not good enough schools? No, what there is the are problem? enough school, but problem is the high fee. Their fees are very high, like 800, 900, 1200, 2000 rupees fee there. Per month? Yeah, and parents who are earning like three or 4000 rupees per month, mm -hmm. and half will go to the child, and if they have three, four kids, they cannot afford this. Mm -hmm. So this is a problem. But uh, if uh, you go... Uh, yeah, I went and asked for my like hostel girls, often girls are living here. Mm -hmm. In my neighborhoods, I asked the girls, I asked one school uh, to take my child after class 5 for class 6 mm -hmm. in the English medium because they want to go after class 5 to continue class 6, but uh, it's hard. They cannot uh, take the child without uh, fee. Okay, so the kids here, they don't pay any fee, right? No, no, they don't You're pay. completely privately funded. Yeah, completely private funding. We have rule to pay uh, for exam, 100, 100 rupees. They pay for exam. For exam, mm -hmm. yeah. Two exams we take, then I, we ask 100, but we are not sure how much they will bring. But we ask. Mm -hmm. We have the rule. So, what has been so far your best experience with Little Star School? Bad experience. Best. <laughs> best. 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 Yeah, best experience is uh, mm -hmm. I'm very happy to do this uh, work, and uh, best is uh, many children getting education, and education is the I think best uh, policy to remove uh, problems, many problems. Now I can see the difference between 1996 and now. Mm -hmm. That time I was searching the kids, and this time we have the main, many kids, but you don't have space to mm -hmm. take them. What would you say are here in this area around Varanasi, the major problems? In the Varanasi? In this area here, the, yeah. Uh, many, many problems. First, uh, uh, electric problem, road problems, and uh, you can say a school for the poor children. Some some schools like uh, running, uh, taking money. They can they should take like ten kids free. Mm -hmm. Ten kids. every school. Yeah, said, if yeah. every school take ten kids free, that's very nice. It would but nobody already. do this. Nobody do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, many rich people are also in the Banaras. If they one rich people is sponsor one child. That's also great. Right, but mm. but nobody do? interested. Eh? No one, uh, I don't know why and what reason. If they like uh, pay all the books and copies and inform once, that's nice. Finish. Yeah. So, I mean, there are, yeah, there are rich yeah, population but rich, here yeah, too. But, uh, but rich people, I think they want more and more and car and aeroplane and uh, they think more, uh, send their own child in abroad to study. I think they have this kind mm -hmm. of. You are teaching here which curriculum? We are teaching pre nursery to class 5, CBSC board, English medium, and class 6 to class 10, UP board syllabus, but with good English books. So, and why English books? Good English books because uh, we want to keep them in the English touch. And uh, that's why I short. Uh, choose uh, English books through CBSE pattern, but rest of syllabus 
I choose from UP board syllabus. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I'm kind of interested in, India has a lot of people and they are growing fast. It's yeah. going soon to be the most populated. Do you address that? I never see any any addressing of the overpopulation. Do you address it in your school, for example? Yeah, overpopulation is growing, yeah, that's true. Population is growing. Is it being addressed in public schools or governmental schools or by the government? No, or? I don't. I, I, no? no. It's hopeless. It's hopeless? Yeah. Well, because they don't know, maybe. Yeah, yeah population is, is, is growing, that's true, but... Uh, Government doesn't management, say. Management of government is. Uh, say it again. Very, this is management of government, you know, this is a. Uh, or oh, the management of government. Government is uh, getting worse and worse. Oh. You cannot move really. Mm. So, what are your next steps with uh, Little Star School? My next step, I'm very happy. We receive uh, received 15 computers. So, we start uh, this class from August. And uh, mm -hmm. next step is uh, settle down that building. We have lots of work there to do, slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. And finish the floor of the five classroom. And in the future, we have the plan to build five more rooms, this last. And mm -hmm. then uh, we can shift like class two to class 10 there. Okay. And in the future, class 11 and 12. Also, we have planned to start 11 and 12. So we can hold the child until class 12. Mm -hmm. And after class 12, they can go for college or for training. Mm -hmm. So that's much, much nicer. Because after class 10, some kids have this sponsorship. They join other school and some don't have. Okay. So uh, front yeah. of those children is problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the our next plan. So let's see how much <laughs> we can go and we can do this. 